Hey everyone, welcome back to Roadside Coder. So in today's video, we're gonna go through eight clean code practices in ReactJS that you should follow to make your development fast and efficient. These eight practices strongly follow the norms of our modern JavaScript ES6 conventions to make you a better React developer. So let's get started. So I've initialized a new React app and it's up and running on our browser. You can see over here. So our first clean code practice is using arrow functions over normal or conventional functions. So what you see over here is a normal function. So let's convert this into an arrow function. I'm gonna type const and an arrow over here and here we go. This function acts the same way as the previous function. But what's different about this function is that this is much cleaner than the previous one and it helps us to avoid things like this keyword inside a function because the arrow function doesn't have uh, this keyword. So yeah, this helps us a lot. And this is and this follows our modern JavaScript ES6 convention. This was introduced in ES6 JavaScript version. So let's move on to our next practice. Our next practice is using round braces or an automatic return statement. So you see over here a return statement. But what if it, we don't want to use this return statement? I'm just gonna remove it. Let's save our file. Let's see if anything happens or not. And hey, hey, you see, there's nothing displayed over here. Why? Because when we use the curly braces, we need to return something. But when we don't use curly braces and we use round braces, then we don't need to return anything. Let me save this. And here you go. We have the roadside coder printed again. So the third practice is using less brackets. So if I remove these round braces as well, you don't even need to use these round braces and our app will still work. Let me check. You see, our app is still working. And let's say if you have a props over here, you don't need to use the brackets over here now. You can remove the brackets. So you see, these are one of the few advantages of an arrow function. So let's move to our fourth practice, which is probably the most important one is to distribute your React app into components. You might have seen other people talk about this as well, that you should always distribute a React app into components to make your development easier. So I'm going to make a new folder called components. And it's not necessary to create a components folder. You can uh, create the components right in the SRC folder, wherever you need to create it inside of an SRC doesn't really matter. But I'm following the good practice of creating a components folder. So I'm going to create a new file. Let's call it destructure because our next point has to do with destructuring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type R A F C E and press enter. So here you go. It has generated a boilerplate code for us for this component. But what if we type like this? by removing a R F C E and press enter. You can see it has generated us a normal function and not the arrow function. So we don't want this normal function. We want our beloved arrow function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this stuff. I'm going to cut it and paste it inside of this component. I'm going to save it and let's import that component over here. The structure, here we go. And, I'm now, and now I'm going to shift this into the same line. So now you see our code is much, much cleaner. Let's go to our browser and here you go. Same output. Now for the fifth practice, we're going to see destructuring of props. So let's pass a prop to this component first. I'm going to type name equals. So I'm going to pass this name to this component. All right. And now we got to receive this name over there. So let's go to destructure and type props over here. And I'm going to remove these brackets. As we discussed earlier, we don't need them when we using when we are using props. So yeah, we have re uh, received this props over here and I'm going to go over here and type props dot name. It's and it, sh it should still print roadside coder. There you go. Let me make changes over here. Let me say subscribe. Oh, subscribe 
to roadside coder and I'm going to save this. There you go. It's working fine. But we, we were talking about destructuring it. So how do we destructure this prop? I'm going to use this curly braces over here and I'm going to type name. So our props have been destructured. But when we are using these curly braces over here, we need to put the round braces around it. So now I can directly use this name without the help of the props keyword and I'm going to save it. And our app has compiled successfully. Let's see working fine. So let's move to our next clean code practice. So let's say if our app has multiple components, multiple parent component, I'm just going to copy it over down here. I'm going to type here. Hello. Now you see these red lines, these are errors. Why is there an error over here? Because there's no parent component over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add something called react fragment by doing this. Now, since we have added react fragment, our app will work absolutely fine. So I'm going to save it. Let's go back to our browser. And there you go. It's working fine. Now I'm going to remove this because we don't need it anymore. Now for our next clean code practice, I would need to create an array over here like this. So this is an array of objects. There you go. Here's the first object. Here's the second object with the first name and last name. I mean the first and the last variables. So I've passed this name over here and I'm going to receive it over here by doing destructuring. So now I'm going to map the name function inside of this div. So let's use a curly braces and name dot map. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use round braces so, do, so that we don't have to use the return statement over here. Let's take that and paste it over here. I'm going to type. Let's take a parameter first and I'm going to type n dot first and space n dot last. So it should print both of the names over here. Let's check. Yes, it has printed. Now let's see how can we destructure this the same way. I'm going to remove this and type curly braces and I'm going to destructure the first and the last out of it. So first comma last. So now we don't need to use this n dot over here. We can straight up use these variables over here. There you go. No change at all. Now for our final clean code practice, sometimes it happens with us that some of the values inside of our array is undefined. So what do we do in that case? We just go, first of all, I'm going to convert it back to like this. Let's say if I'm just going to print the first over here. We do normally do is this n and so if there's something inside of n only then print n dot first. But there's a better way of doing this. What you can do, you can remove this and we can use something called optional chaining in JavaScript. So we can use n question mark. If there's something inside of n, only then you can use the first value inside of that array. So yeah, there you have it. These were the eight clean code practices in React that you need to use to become a better developer. There are a lot of other clean code practices as well as you explore React, you're going to come across them. But these were the main eight clean code practices that you should use to become a better React developer. So yeah, thank you all for watching this video. If you guys like this video and want to support me, then click on the like button below and subscribe to the channel and turn on notification to watch more of these banger videos. Thank you all and I'll see you next time.